GR. Yeah, we're good, dude. GR, make sure you're watching. We're going to see some hype stuff because Sethlon is coming up right versus now. Versus Rune. Woo! Versus Rune. All right. So, That's Sethlon true. being known for... Did you just sneeze on stream, my boy? Uh, did you try to cover the fact that you, you sneezed on stream, my boy? I, I tried to cover it up to be polite, but yes. <laughs> I'm glad that you sneezed into your elbow. Yeah, that's the most... Anyways, we don't know anything about Rune. Um, I haven't really seen him around too many times, but we know a lot about Sethlon. He is the premier Roy player in our area. You can expect a lot of really great things from him, especially at these lower percentages. You're going to see him starting to do some approaches with the down tilt, like you saw right there, and then it's going to pop them up into uh, and set them up for essentially a string of aerials. Oh yeah. And just like with Mark, the worst place to be is above, above him. And you're going to be seeing a lot of damage being racked up relatively quickly. Already ruined at nearly 130%. Popping them back up. Yep. There's that back. No. Back oh. here's not there. I was waiting for it. Oh, they got two more there. All right, cool. Finish off the stock consistent. Now, Sethlon retaining his first stock only at 31%. Let's see if he can keep it going. Now, Rune, I want to see more chomps. I want to see you get that Scruff McGruff bite out of crime. All right, he gets the throw. Oh, Good yo, trade. beautiful trade there. That was beautiful stuff by Rune. Just what he needed to do. Making this an even game. Oh, I yes. love it. Oh, coming out. Good stuff. I like to. I want to see more resets. I want to see... Rune just get a series of good strings, all catching up to each other. Hey, speaking of a series of resets, look at what Sethlon's doing. Instead of uh, continuing combos like he normally does, he's opting to use the down air, sending Rune back down. I think maybe he's looking for a forward smash based on Rune's tech patterns. Yeah, I, I definitely feel that. Oh, oh, he hops off the edge just a little, little bit too, too early. early, and Rune's able to recover. Okay. Oh, I thought he was going to go for Hancock. He was high enough percentage. Yeah, we see Rune once again at a very high percentage. And because he used that shoulder blast, it's going to be a lot more difficult for him to uh, make that surprise trade that he did in that first stock. All right. Here comes Sephon. He gets the Hancock finally and over 200%. Rune only managing to put on 27% on Sephon's uh, second stock. There. Oh, excellent choice, though. Coming in good. Look at this. This is fantastic use of the throws. Constantly resetting into situations where you have to make room guess, and Sethlon just reacts. And speaking of reacting, Sethlon, what he's doing is essentially noting Rune's tech patterns. And he's, that's why he's able to get the re-grabs that he's hoping for. Or oh, No. I expected it, but remember, uh, with Roy, the damage and the knockback is not at the uh, tip like it is with Mark. Right. It's at the hill. So maybe that's why he didn't go for the forward smash. That's very much true. You know, it's a very committal option, and it wouldn't have necessarily guaranteed the uh, stock there. Coming in, there. Ah, oh. oh. it's tough. It's really tough to get the. Particularly uh, with Roy. Yeah, to get it with Roy. Ooh, loved that tilt there. That was beautiful stuff. He lets it charge just long enough to mm. catch Stefan off guard mm -hmm. and takes another stock. I'm digging it. I am too. But he is at 178 percent, nearing that Hancock range. I think with one grab, or you or know, just a, just a down smash. smash you know. Especially at that low percent. That down smash is just what he needs. He drew a line in the sand with that flaming sword, and he said, you know what, that's enough's enough. We're done. But this is exactly what you want to do, and, and box your opponent out. Push them with their backs to the wall, and force them to choose an option, and make them commit. Excellent job by Sethlon. Rune does have the waft available. It's going to be very interesting to see how he chooses to use it. Is he going to use it to essentially finish off a stock early, or is he going to use it as a recovery option, seeing as he's at already... Oh, Yo! my gosh! That was a great guess there. Gib Squad, man! Excellent choice. I'm loving it. And he still has the waft available. He still has the waft available, which means if he can do enough damage, he can knock knock out Sephlon's last stock. But he is at 128%, so it's going to be very difficult. Okay. Oh, coming back on. Good up tilts. Oh, but he's above Roy, and that's definitely not where you want to be. Fortunately for him, he's at that higher percent, so oh. it's not as devastating. Oh, Cephalon with an uncharacteristic miss there on his uh, wave dash. That's unfortunate. Okay. I'm looking for... Yes, oh. that's exactly what I wanted. Either it was going to be forward smash or it was going to be B. B was the better choice. That was an excellent job. Yeah, it wasn't as committal, Man. and it was just what he needed to get the job done. Exactly. Efficiency. Efficiency is super important. Take notes, Super y all. important. This man wrote the Bible on Roy. Take he notes. He really did. He truly did. But we have to give props to Rune as well. Oh, gosh. New Going player. down to the last stop. This is the first time I've seen him Incredible. on stream. The first time. Dude, dude can you can you say that? I can't. The no. first time I, I was on stream against Seth Lund, well, that's never happened because I've never. My first you know, time on stream, I got bopped. You did get bopped by Caveman Dan. Shout out to Flintstone Dan. <laughs> I hate Sonic. All right, let's go in. <laughs> All right, he's making the counter pick here 
to uh, his own stage, Warrior, but little does he know that Cephalon really likes the stage as well, if I remember correctly. Oh, yeah. Uh, the uh, shortened blast zones are going to make it a lot easier for Roy to really capitalize oh! with that force smash, but he doesn't even need it seeing as he's able to land the sweet spot on that down air. That Beautiful was stuff. So ill. Oh, my goodness. I love it. Okay, there it is. Good stuff punishing the dash. The yeah. way the dash attack. Really good spacing, too. Like, like, the way that he dashed away, kind of, to just avoid it and then yeah. kind of attack. I love it. There's the right. bite out of crime. He oh. needs to do more of those. I keep. This is the same thing that I'm telling Havilink as well. This option is so good. This is the equivalent of a command grab. It is a command grab. So you need to put that out there, take a bite, get the setup right after. It's free damage. Use it. Oh, he's really hoping for these shoulder bashes, but Cephalon very patient in his shield. He's not going to necessarily uh, commit to a uh, defensive option like a roll very early to get caught by that shoulder bash. He's gonna does a good job, really, of holding his ground. Good up B coming back on. There's the grab setup. Put a little bit of butter on that throw. Okay. I wouldn't have been surprised there if he won for a down air. In contrast to the last match, he's having a tough time taking out this first stock. There's a shoulder bash once again. Oh, it's because Cephalon, Cephalon has really adapted. Yeah. He's so he's found the range that Rune feels he's effective at, and he's staying just outside of it. And he's smart, too, because Cephalon, what he's doing, you notice he'll tech away so that he, Rune can't get the shoulder bash follow-up off of the throw. Mm -hmm. Little things like that. You can already see how different of a game this is. Rune had Cephalon down to his last stock uh, in the last game, and Cephalon, without even losing a stock, has Rune down to... His last talk. This is why Cephalon is Cephalon. It's not necessarily the character. It's not necessarily you know his fundamentals or his movement or anything like that. It's a culmination. But the most important asset there is his intelligence, his will, his skill, his adaptation, and understanding and downloading his opponents. Cephalon's really good at understanding your patterns and destroying you because of them. As we saw right there, taking it 2-0 over Rune, making quite the turnaround after that first game. Rune doing a fantastic job yeah. out the gates. Fantastic first game. Uh, but Sethmon caught on with that adaptation. Change it up next time.